Hi, my name is Chris Davis from Engage Insight, and this whiteboard session is about defining and applying your strategic objectives to your business. Objectives are very much like the architecture for the business, and they're normally longer term um, in their nature, whereas goals are very short term and are very focused on what you want to achieve in that short time frame. Regarding strategic objectives, really they tell the story, if you like, of the overall strategy that you want to put in place to take your business forward and focus on that future vision that you've got for the business. And there were a couple of university professors who wrote a book in the 1980s called The Balanced Scorecard, Kaplan and Norton, who applied um, defining strategic objectives and how you pull that into your business across four key areas. They looked at the financials, what was going on at that level, clients and customers, which is all about the market and in market share, if you like, looking at processes, internal processes, not to be confused with operations, but actual the processes and how efficient and how streamlined they are, and looking at people, looking at people growth, looking at the learning and development that was going on in the business. And really what they wanted to do was get away from the business planning, the traditional business planning way of doing things, which was very silo orientated, very much focused on one particular area. They wanted to showcase that really from a balanced perspective across these areas, they're all interlinked. And we need to look at our businesses from a far more holistic point of view, which incidentally is what the regulator in the financial service markets are actually looking at right now in regulating the market in a far more holistic manner. So really what we're talking about here in the financials of the business is all about cash flow, it's all about return on investment, return on capital. And to, in order to ensure that we've got that in the right place, we need to ensure that we're actually playing and participating in the right markets. So that's all about connecting into the niche that you're in and we need to ensure that once we're in those niches that we're keeping our clients happy, that they value our services, that they're going to stay satisfied with what we're we're doing for them and we're going to retain them. That's very important to interlink that into the financials. Then we've got really interlinked into that is how efficient and streamlined and effective our services and processes and our businesses are to ensure that our clients are happy. And conversely, to ensure that we've got these processes in place and that they're working efficiently and effectively, we need to have the right people in the right place with the right skills. We need to ensure that we're leveraging the right expertise and most importantly, we're keeping that expertise in the business. Our staff, their work and well-being is catered for. So that's all about getting the right culture and behaviour in place. And similarly, what we've got to ensure is to have the right people in place, that they're building the right processes going forward, which then supports our clients' needs in the marketplace. And if they're valuing what we're up to in the market, then obviously that then increases the profit margins and the profit lines. Of where we're going. So really that is looking at things in a far more holistic fashion and what Kaplan and Norton then did was brought in what they called a scorecard approach. So if you're in, into looking at individual particular areas and goals, remember goals are very specific, how you can actually build that into this process then all you do is basically build a simple scorecard to look at what the goals are, for example increasing profitability, what the measure is that you're going to bring in to make sure that we're measuring it on an ongoing basis, that we're going to reach those goals and those, tar those targets. And finally, looking at the target itself of what we want that to be. It could be increasing client loyalty, for example. So therefore, we'd want to measure it by surveys or focus groups. And what we the target is, is to in increase a long-term retention of our clients by up to 50% and increase that by 50%. So my top tip for you on when you're putting together strategic objectives for your business is to look at it holistically. Get away from the silo mentality of business planning, look at it from a strategic point of view about how it all fits together and how it's all interlinked. That's a very, very powerful proposition.